Sanchez Albert Rosales. Uh, we're here at No Limits with Robert Emerson from the Ultimate Fighter UFC. Okay, uh, just got a couple of questions for you, everybody. Um, first off, do you have a couple of injuries? What's going on with your injuries? How are you doing? Um, I'm doing good. Just like everything else in this sport, man, injuries like the, you know, the one thing you try to stay away from. Like this sport is kind of hard. I hurt my shoulder a couple weeks ago, and I hurt my collarbone, you know, last week. So I'm trying to work around it. So I've far enough away. You know, I have time to recover and train full time for the next fight. So I'm doing good. You know, I've got uh, have a in-house doctor here that works on it you know, any day, anytime I need. So I get injuries, but I'm also taking care of them. So that'll be good. So you're fighting on uh, which show? Which show are they going to put you on? I'm scheduled to fight August 9th, uh, UFC 87 out in uh, Minneapolis. I'll be fighting on Andy Gimberry and the Ultimate Fighter 5 show too. So. Well, uh, what's going to be your main focus for that, uh, for that fight? How are you going to do um, it? You know, I, I've shown a lot of stuff on the feet, I think, in my last couple of fights. And uh, I need to show people that I can do more than just, you know, stand up, punch, kick, whatever. So I'm, gonna, I'm, I'm working on a lot of ground, doing a lot of wrestling, a lot of submissions. Um, these guys are actually going to be my purple belt uh, in like two weeks. So I'm excited for that. I'm doing a lot of ground work with a lot of brown belts, black belts. and. Uh, these guys are all telling me that I should have my black belt anyway. And I have like sandbag and getting a purple belt, but you gotta start somewhere, you know. Um, so I'm excited just to show uh want to roll around the MMA game, you know. I wanna I haven't got that knockout or that, that performance that I'm proud of. You know, I I've, I fought some good tough opponents and I've took them to decisions, but I haven't had a performance yet in my career where I can I'm happy of and I'm proud of and like some of me up as a fighter. So I'm still looking for that. A good battle that'll show like everything that I've done in it will be you, you know. Well, why don't we talk about uh, some of your opponents that you've fought? Um, I know the people just the people who are new to the sport maybe don't really know who you are yet. Yeah. But just look at your record and they see a number, okay? Um, but they don't know actually. They don't look deeper as to who your opponents are. Talk about uh, some of your earlier opponents. Um. Well, I started off on a rough track when I first started off. Like I said, my first pro fight was uh, James Bulber. And that was right after he uh, fought BJ for the title and he left the UFC. We had a fight. And I was fighting that fight with an injury too. I couldn't even train for that fight really. And I took him into the decision. And I think the next couple of opponents after that was um, Melvin Gillard, Chris Brennan, uh, Mishima in Japan, and uh, Javier Vasquez. And just all top notch guys at the time. We were like, you know, top 10 for my weight class. I was hanging in there. You know, I only lost decisions to those guys. And I still was new to the sport. I didn't really know, you know, well, I was fully capable of, and I was just kind of going off basic instinct and uh, athleticism. You know, I really didn't have the much training to back it up. Um, so now that uh, I got the, the kind of ring rust out of the way, it's like now that I fight these guys who are my level, I'm not, you know, I'm not really worried about them because I fought in the ring with stuff in the ring with way tougher guys. So it's like kind of like I got all the jitters out. And it's like I'm cool with fighting anybody now. You know, because I got fought a lot of tough guys. And I know it's like be hit and. That'd be right under pressure, like talking to guys. So jumping, jumping into a time machine, say, um, are, you go back into time, are you going to do things the same way you've done now, or are you going to be more careful about your opponents right now? Um, you know, I wouldn't change anything, man. It made me the guy who I am today. And um, like I said, when I step in the ring, I like the way I feel now. And, uh, you know, I'm a lot better than people, people know, and the uh, people I train with, people here in my gym, people that know me personally. And uh, it's just a matter of time before the rest of the world gets to see it. You know, it's just up to me to, to, to perform the way that uh, I can. And uh, the world will see soon that I'm a, I'm a lot better fighter. I deserve to be up there with the top eight guys, you know. Um, I just need to, you know, I usually take my lifestyle habits and start taking the training a lot more seriously. And, uh, you know, I think these next couple this this year will show. Like, this will be a big new year for me. You know, I'm going to do a lot of big things. And, I told Joe Silva I want to stay busy you know, after this next fight. Just try to fight five times this year. Just get my name out there and get established. So. You brought your uh, your training partners up. Uh, why don't you uh, give them a little bit of props here and uh, fill, fill us in who you got training with? You. Yeah, um, we got a lot of good Muay Thai guys. Uh, we got a lot of belts as you can see. We got like you know 170 King of the King of the Cage champion, uh, Slam Weatherspoon. This sparring partner. We got uh, J Rock from uh, Season Six Ultimate Fighter. Uh, Shane Del Rosario, WEC uh, uh, heavyweight, kick Muay Thai champ. We got Romeo Danza, who's a, a WEC welterweight champ. Um, just a lot of kickboxing champs and uh, a lot of tough guys. Shane right here, bro. We got Brett Cooper. All of our guys fight for uh, Pro Elite, Elite XC, and then me and Jared obviously fight for uh, UFC. So. Yeah. Lots of guys. Any time of the day, you come in here and guide your training. You got Balk Watch. You know, it's a tough competitor. And uh, it's all a group of guys who do a lot of sparring. They do sparring every day, you know? So, uh, let me focus on just like stand up conditioning and like kind of 
guys come in all the time and work out with us, they always say they'll be their mouthpiece and uh, we'll run through the ring here and they come back and they get tennis us and around. So. Did you guys cover everything every day? Do you train kickboxing one day, maybe wrestling next day? Um, we do it all every day. We, we do we do kickboxing every day, you know, Muay Thai boxing, and then uh, the, the ground and pound that we do, we'll do uh, Jiu Jitsu with headgear and MMA gloves, you know, so we're punching and stuff, so it's more practical. And then uh, me and my own, I just, I'm, I'm, lately I've been focusing a lot more on just uh, grappling, straight Jiu Jitsu. I'm um, just, I want a person to better my game. And then we have a same conditioning coach we hit three days a week. And I have another separate coach. I do another three days a week. So training, conditioning, Muay Thai, wrestling, and uh, Muay Thai every day of the week, six days a week. I know you've had the, you've had the opportunity to train with a lot of big names. Um, why don't you fill us in on who's kind of molded you into the into the fighter that you are now? Um, when I first started, uh, I was training with Marco Ruas, and um, he's a great coach, man. He's a great great trainer, great coach. He breaks down the sport in like such a crazy way. He uh, he was able to see talent in me too when I first started and like, give me that motivation that I needed when I was young to like want to do this as a career. And um, he just put us through like such crazy conditioning that like he just made us mentally tough. And uh, like I said, back then we were, we were training with Babalu, uh, Pedro Hizzo, Gustavo Zimu, and all these tough Brazilians were in there. We spawned and we were getting banged up with these guys. So when we trained with other gyms and other camps, it wasn't, it wasn't a tough and hard. So. Uh, then I came here to Tumoyama, no limits, and uh, I guess we have a lot of tough guys. Tiki, Ramakala, Tito, Rampage, those guys all came from this team too. Yeah, they all left about a year ago, but still, I, I got to work with those guys for like a year and a half, two years. So, a lot of tough guys. Great, right So, you say you're fighting again in uh, August? You August 9th, right? yeah, UFC 87 is uh, next schedule card for me. So. so, is there anybody out there that you just have to fight? Is somebody you really, really want to fight? You think you can just make um, your name on? I don't have anything personal against anybody in this sport. This division is so stacked that there's going to be so many crazy fights and so many crazy matchups. I'm just, I'm just, me personally, I just want to get my name out there and get the respect that I think I deserve that I've been working so hard this last seven years. And I'm excited, like I said, 2008 is going to be a big year for me. I'm excited. And, uh, I think I got all the junk, all the partying, all the crap behind me. Uh, I'm really taking this sport seriously now. It's my career and uh, I'm excited to see what I can do, you know, for myself and for the fans. So. Yeah. Rob, uh, you mentioned earlier about the ring rest early in your career. Um, what kept you motivated? What what kept you wanting to, after the rough start, what kept you going? Well, I just figured I'm like, shit, dude, I'm a young kid. And I, I can stand there and go the distance with these, with these like, you know, guys that have been in way longer than I have and accomplished way more stuff than I have. It's like, look, I guess it's something I'm good at, man, you know? And I kind of, when I took that forward fight, I'm like, well, let me take this fight and see how I do. And that way I'll be able to put myself on a scale and see if there's something that, you know, I was born to do or if it's something I'm kind of just you know, as a hobby. So uh, the fact that I went to distance with all those guys, it gave me confidence in myself that, man, you know, if I take this seriously and put a lot of hard work and time in, then, you know, it's something I can accomplish a lot in this sport. And, uh, so it's something I'm still working for now. And, uh, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want to change anything, man. I'm fully happy with uh, the, uh, you know, where I've come from, where I started off. You know? I haven't even accomplished half of what, I, what I'm going to have so far. So. Cool, cool. And you talked about injuries. We know that you guys are fighters. You guys get injured all the time. About how long before, like after you get injured, do you feel confident that you're not going to re-injure that injury again? Um, there's never a confidence like that. I mean, you're always going to every fight. Every fighter is going into some, every fight with some sort of injury, some sort of ailment, some sort of back set, you know. And it's like uh, you kind of just—it's a fight, man. You know, you're going in there and uh, you're going to get injured, you're going to get hurt. No one, no one stays 100% healthy in this sport, so. I guess knowing that you just kind of patch yourself up and do the best you can, you know? Alright, before we go, just uh, people who don't know you, is there anything you want to say to the people who are watching this video? Um, just keep an eye out for me 2008. I'm really going to try to make a statement and impact this year and the next year. Um, and the UFC likes me and I like them, so I'm you know, going to be fighting them for a long time. Uh, just keep an eye out for me. Um, I'm going to work my ass off to show the fans and show the world you know, you know, what I'm uh, really going to do out there. So. Any sponsors you want to plug? Yeah, thanks for uh, tap out Hitman. Uh, my exclusive sponsorship. Um, that's all I got right now. I think I'm working out with some of the high spin RX, but tap out Hitman for sure right now. That's what I think you guys. Right on. Nice. Thanks for joining us, buddy. Appreciate it. Good luck. Right Back from fighthype.com, man.